Well, hello there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Let me check my microphone here. It looks like it's, hey, if you can hear me, <laughs> uh, if you can hear me, just drop a note down there in the comments. Let me know. I'm trying out a, a little bit of a new setup this morning. I just want to make sure everything's working okay. And uh, hey there, Joe. Good morning to you, sir. If you can hear me, if you're here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, doesn't matter. It's all good. Loud and clear. Okay, good. So uh, just leave me a note down there. Leave a comment. Say hi. Um, man, that kind of derailed me a little bit. Say hi. Let me know you're here. And, uh, and we'll go from there. So last night, uh, I think yesterday, I'm pretty sure yesterday, I mentioned that uh, co-working night was last night. Hey, Abby, good morning to you. I um, mentioned that last night was co-working night. I had two fantastic sessions that I participated in. <clears throat> One with uh, Jeremy Winger, who was in from Nashville and spoke. And that was awesome. awesome. And then the other one was a uh, foundations class. Jordan's been doing a great job with that. <coughs> Man, clearly I need more coffee this morning. But um, one thing that came up in both of those sessions I wanted to touch on this morning has to do with Frustration, disappointment, and expectations. It's here. Here's the crux of the whole thing. I'm going to give it to you up front and then we'll unpack it on the backside. Frustration is a function of expectations. If I go into the bank and I expect that trip into the bank to take five minutes and it takes 15 minutes, I'll be frustrated because it did not meet my expectations. On the other hand, if I go in expecting it to take 30 minutes and it takes 15 minutes, I'll be a happy camper. The only difference was how I set my expectations. And repeated frustration leads to disappointment. That's how disappointment plays into that. Ultimately, if I go into the bank over and over and over again and they frustrate me, I'll become disappointed and leave. So... And, and this was the point that came up that I want to share with you this morning. If you don't set and manage expectations correctly, and look, I don't care if it's with your kids, your parents, your employees, your customers, your investors. I heard all of those come up last night. If you don't set and manage expectations correctly, the other party is going to create their own set of expectations and then project them on onto you. So if you have a business partner, you're expecting them to do 70% of the work. That's the expectation that you've set, but you don't communicate that. And they're expecting you to do 70% of the work. And you haven't communicated that. Then there's going to be a problem, right? And, and here's the key. This is the one thing, literally, once you understand and agree that frustration is a function of expectations. <laughs> oh, Eric, gloom, despair, and agony on me. I haven't thought about hee-haw in a long time. Once you understand that frustration is a function of expectations, here's the other key to unlocking success. The if you don't manage the expectations, other parties going to create them and they will always set them higher than your own. Now I had some people make a frowny face last night when I said that, but it's the truth. Think about it with your kids. Think about it with your parents. Think about it with your significant other. If you don't communicate what those expectations are, their expectations of you are always going to be higher than your own. And so who gets frustrated and who gets disappointed? Right now that's not, that's not to say that through communication, you can set their expectations appropriately. They might be perfectly happy with the level of effort or the result that you are proposing 
But if you don't tell them that, if you don't talk about that, they're just going to expect, well, this is what should happen. And they base that, look, it's not... It's not malicious. It's just based on their experience and their preference. And we all make choices that serve us better, right? In the absence of all other input and all other influence, we all make self-serving decisions. So they're going to set expectations that are self-serving for them. And that's okay, right? You're going to make the, you're going to do exactly the same thing, but there's an opportunity to communicate about those, talk about those and, and get everybody on the same page then everybody can be happy. So the real message here today, the way to, to, uh, overcome frustration, gloom, despair, and agony, <laughs> um, is to communicate. I've heard what you said. Here's what I plan to do when I plan to do it. And here's what I think the result's going to be. That's it. That's the whole thing right there. If you have that conversation and literally can take 30 seconds, everybody's happy. But if you don't, as Eric says, gloom, despair, and agony, <laughs> or at least frustration and disappointment is headed your way. Hey, thanks so much for joining me this morning. If you are listening uh, on your favorite podcast catcher, you're getting it from iTunes, Stitcher, tune in. You can join the conversation here just like Eric, Joe, and Abby have by watching live or the replay. Uh, go to seven minutes in the morning.com. That takes you to the right place on Facebook to catch the video and the whole back catalog of all the videos that we've done and participate in the conversation either live or after the fact. And if you're watching and you need to be on the go, those podcast options are always out there. Set up Stitcher the same way I have. Where's my phone? So that as soon as I open it, it's the first thing that opens up and just starts playing. All right, that's it for today. It's Thursday. Have a thankful Thursday. Find something to be thankful for in all this rain. I think I heard Noah begin building you know, his boat on the other side over there. So uh, you guys stay dry, stay safe, and be back here tomorrow. I'll be here in the morning for a Friday edition. Is that right? Yep, it's Friday already. That means free coaching Friday tomorrow. Send me your questions. We'll get those in on tomorrow's edition of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Till then, you guys, take care. Have a great day.